Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Ashurkazi. While the Dragon's Rejects get repair and refit as best they can, the Night Gaunts have leapfrog past them, heading down the valley, and they're planning on grabbing another facility along the way towards the Red Reaper Command. Alright, so here we are here. There's a base just up ahead. Looks like we're going to just move in. There might be Red Reapers here. We don't know yet. We're just going to move up, check out what's going on here. It'll be a nice little waypoint. Uh between us and where we need to go. So let's go ahead and take this. And move our long range mechs up along the road here and our lighter guys down this way, I think. Onward. Okay, you guys. And then you can come along this way. Uh-huh. And you down here. And you maybe up over here. We get some eyes over on something uh -huh. maybe, hopefully. Bandit can go with you guys. Let's get a scout on up ahead here. I'm gonna pull right into there and Then the cloud buster can go up along the road as Well as the hunter On my way So far it's pretty quiet. Oh, we got something looks like they got some turrets here Sniper artillery emplacement anti-tank turret Hardened rifle position so Looks like we gotta kill this guy fast. What do we got over here? Fire bee. So this is a uh, three and a half skull capture base mission. I wasn't really sure what to expect on this, so let's just see how it goes. It might go fast, it might not, we'll see. I think we wanna go ahead and take out that uh, emplacement first though. Let's get up here. I wanna control this high ground up here, I think, with our long range mechs. Let's take this guy out. Um, yeah, incendiaries, yes, tag, yes, fire it all. Okay, that's on. Nice. Ooh, nice, over half damage. Over half damage. Seems like I got some half decent speed here too, these guys. All right, that's all right. We need to be careful with our vehicles again. Standing by. Because with the new update, we have no idea if we like if we lose a vehicle, it's gone, right? Well, it's, there's a the chance bottle. it could be gone. There's no more of that uh, gimmies anymore, right? No freebies. All right, fire this on him. Lots on target. All right, the heavy hit, nice. Shit ton of rockets. All right, there's the threat gone. That turret is gone. It is. Standing by. We're gonna fire on this other turret too. I have no idea. These could be heavy rifles, but if we can pull the second turret down early, that'd be nice. I can't see anybody else, so let's sensor lock the fire bee. Sensors locked on. Fuller SRM twos, but you know they've all got in inferno ammo, so we gotta be careful of them. And AMS flares, eh? So we'll leave the rockets off. Heavy rifles, yeah, we better take this down. Alright, a little bit. A little bit. Let's get up to here. Try and get as much evasion as we can. Yeah, we got three. Alright, we're gonna fire the LRMs anyway. Let's just see what happens. All right, so tons of them hit. Well, we lost 13, but still, that's not bad. So between episodes, Igor had got enough experience to grab another, uh, another um, skill, and we went with um, Escapist. Because she's probably going to be piling the mechs that are relatively fast. I'm hoping to get a lot of, like that's five right to there. She gets a bonus of plus two. So, so this is an anti-tank turret. Missile and ballistic. I wonder if it's ATMs. Let's get over here. Moving fast. I don't want to push that turret unless we have to. We'll only fire lasers if we can. Yeah, we can. Leave the narcs off. So it's an LRM 5 and 3 twos. Okay. Time to die. 
Alright, we got one hit. It's fine. That's fine. What can I do for you? Alright, buddy. Let's uh, keep this cougar back here. Gonna switch the AMS on. Overload. Let's take on this turret. And switch to standard ammo and firing. Uh -huh. Laser hit. Nice. We still got our vehicles left too, so we should be able to take it. All right. Let's see what else we can spot up here. Let's get up here. On my way. Double time. If there's any more max? Oh, we got. Good view of the research. Oh yeah, we got a great view of the research facility. Got emplacements. Yeah, we know. There's a lot of shit going on up here. Bing. All right, let's hammer this thing. Nice. Solid connection, that one. Excellent. Commander. Let's get you up here. Put a couple large lasers on that thing. On my way. Double time. And then we got a couple more coming from Rose, which she may not be able to get into range because she's actually a fair distance back there. Should I drop the incendiary rockets on there? Six damn yeah, we'll hang on to them. Uh fifty-nine, that's gonna be about nine hits. Nine times six fifty-four damage. Pair of forty-fours. Hmm. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, those hit. Ooh, nice. One less target. I think the incendiaries, they do crits for on open armored um, units, including turrets, so Going full speed. that's kind of a bonus. Okay, so the fire B, 10%. This turret, I have no idea. I have no idea what this turret is either. What is this thing? Heavy LR heavy LRM turret. Well, we got the best chance to shoot this guy, so we'll just fire on him. Yeah, one hit. Alright. Oop. Hey! What is that? Reporting minimal damage. Another vulture too? Or just a straight up vulture? I'm here. Or just something. But I have no idea what it is, most likely. Ooh. Let's get into here. Ten four. See if we can get a shot in that fire bee. I might as well be firing if we can. Confirmed. Ooh, nice. Okay, so the heavy LRM turret's probably just an LRM twenty. Or a pair of 10s, a pair of 15s, something like that. So not so bad. I guess the heavy part of it is the, uh, how much armor it has. Okay, so we see these two. So they probably have other guys back here. Yep, yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Why is the hunter down in... Armor. Did I miss something? Ready to get it on. Oh, that guy shot at it. That would make sense. Okay, well we can't get a shot on direct Roger shot that, that is on the turret. So let's just get up here. See if we can spot anybody else. They may only have two guys here as defenders. Maybe. Vulture Mark II. Nice. Might as well put Warlord on this sucker. Yeah, I'll fire. Nice. Yeah, man. PPC hit. Screw up his sensors a little bit. Awaiting orders. Ooh, we can get a shot on him. Affirmative. Let's get those larges up here. 
Nice chances to hit, plus the tag. Affirmative. Missed with the tag, but we got both lasers on it. Or no, we didn't. We actually hit him with the tag. I didn't see it hit there. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's get up here. ECM jamming! Who's got the ECM? Firebee, probably? Maybe? I don't know. Target locked. Or this guy. If it's him, he's got a pretty damn good ECM. Okay, same thing. Let's get up here. Indirect for the turret, though. Let's not go direct. I don't want him shooting at me. Okay, let's take a shot at this guy again. Okay, both ACs hit. Guys, AMS is working overtime, but... I live to serve. Not gonna help him. Okay, let's get you up here. I'll race ya. Everyone's ahead of you. How are you gonna... Who are you racing? Who? Who is it you're racing? <laughs> no idea who you're racing. Waiting on you, Commander. Alright, let's get the AMS up here. Oh, there's a shot. Take that shot. shot. Max speed, no shooting. All right. Yeah, not too bad. Taking it anyway. No sweat. Keep that instability coming. Good to go. Hmm. Get into here. Affirmative. I think it's probably just these two. We should have picked other people up on sensors by now. We got beagle probes and everything on these guys on our on our mechs, so we should have seen them by now. Um, let's try for the beacon. Hmm. No, let's hold off. And uh, yeah. Special delivery. All right, we got one on. Not bad. Commander. Alright, we got some LRMs here. Go for that solid red line. Probably not good parking the Hunter in front of a mech, because that guy's probably going to shoot for the Hunter again. But if we can get enough instability on him, maybe he won't yeah. shoot. God damn, that AMS is working overtime. Is it his turn? It is. Uh, shoot him down. Damage minimal. So I've been trying to increase the guts on a lot of my pilots now that we've got some. Uh, now that we have a bunch of good. Um, like our skills are up. So I've been trying to get the the the, uh, the guts up a little bit on them. Um. I guess we go with HE. Just warlord it. I want to try to max salvage off this guy, but I also don't want to take a lot of damage, so... Hit with one, looks like. A critical hit. Yeah, so... This Adorn mentioned when it says NSS destroyed. So apparently the NSS is in, in several locations, and I guess when it gets... The slots in the location get destroyed, it says NSS destroyed, but it's not really destroyed. It's located in the CT. So if you destroy it in one of the other locations... I think the I think the it thinks it's gone, but it's not gone. If that makes sense. I think that makes sense to me the most too. That's why it's reporting it the way it's reporting it. Anyway, kind of clarifies that I think. All right, who do we got? Let's go after the vulture again, making sure the turrets can't shoot us. Well. Not the best chances to hit, but we're taking it. Acknowledge. I'm shocked that AMS is not jammed yet. Critical hit, Commander. Commander. Let's add some instability to this guy. I want parts, but not at the cost of my parts. Okay. Good to go. Looks like he's got a prototype double heat sink kit. He watches heat drop there. 
get in the trees. I get you. I'll in case he gets a chance to shoot at us. He's going on 14, so I don't think... Well, he might survive these. He might. Um... How you doing here? Ooh, you almost got no CT armor. We gotta throw the rockets on, see if we can knock his ass down. Locked on. Nope, we're damn close though. Target's taking a critical hit. I'm out of SRM. That's all right, buddy. You got lots more where they came from. All right, the fire bee's going now. I want to try and get a back strike on the fire bee with the Grendel. I think the Grendel can probably kill this thing from behind. Now nah, we're not quite. We're not quite there yet. See, our AMS is jammed. What can I do for you? Just walk into here. Coordinates received. Saves a little bit of heat. Ah, uh, we'll leave the medium off, fire the rest. Special delivery. On instability, instability. Go down. Yeah, critical. Not quite hit. yet. Just about. What can I do for you? Don't quite have enough jump over there yet, eh? Got the sprint, but we can't attack him from behind. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. How do we just knock this guy down? I mean, we could just shoot him with an arc launcher. Two lasers and the narc launcher should probably do it. Tell me what to do. There it is. Come on, bail out. Nope. Tough bastard. Give him that. Alright, let's see if we can get some pinpoint in the legs. How are you doing here? Ah, he's almost Let's try it. Ah, yeah, well. Not much we can do. I didn't want him shooting again. He did a lot of damage already, so... Commander. Barbie's yours. Pulling off. Might as well use those, uh... ATMs. HE. Alright. Good damage. Inflicted some heavy damage. Yes, Commander. All right, get those large lasers up here. Acknowledged. Got to kill these turrets. We'll probably be doing that when the reinforcements aye, arrive. Aye. Um. At least I think Moving they're going to get position. reinforcements. Taking the shot. Yeah. That's a kill. That's that mech is just like receiving you. Not a good mech to be not a good mech to be in for most pilots. Like if anything, lower the ton of SRM ammo to half a ton. Alright, let's fire on this guy again. Probably SRM turrets and maybe an AC ten. Ooh. Oh shit, you're able to shoot at me. Didn't see that. Did 40 damage? Did it? Yeah, I think so. AC5 maybe? I'm picking up a new of course you are. Looks like enemy oh, they're dropping right on top of us. Trebuchet, a hunchback. Heavy rifle carrier, Nidhog, and they're right on top of us. What's up, boss? That's an interesting place that, that they dropped in. 
This is gonna be a friggin' brawl. <sighs> Look at this thing. This thing's gotta go. I don't know if those are light rifles or what it is, but it has to go. And the Nidhogg has got what? Probably a shit ton of rockets, too. God damn it. We gotta maximize the back strike. Okay, who's got... Ah, damn it. Who's got the highest... The Nidhogg's got the highest movement. So, maybe we try and get a free... Well, not a free kill, but at least an early kill on this guy. Because the Hunchback's got weak back armor. If we get lucky enough, we can blow straight through it. Let's try it. Yeah. You got the drop on you, nope. I'm sorry. We had to try it. Got something you want done? Let's just get right the fuck on these guys. Alright, let's try and get a kill here. It's got 40 internal. We don't have enough. I don't, we don't get the juice to take the 40 internal. We had to hit with like, like almost all of the rockets. To, but we, I don't know. We'll find out. Roger. Yeah, not quite. I'm out of short range missiles. There's more of us than them though, so this friggin' Nidhogg's gonna shred somebody. Question is, who's it gonna shred? I bet you it goes after the hunter. And of course, now that I said that, it's gonna attack somebody from behind. Yep. Alright, at least it went after somebody with AMS. Where's it going? I mean, we're kind of okay because we do have most of our guys going before them. He's gonna back up, is he? Yeah, it's probably the best way, best thing to do. Orders. All right, let's see if we can kill this uh, rifle carrier. Scary ass thousand rifle carrier. Tandem rockets are on. Let's warlord it. Probably should. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to do it, but I'm pretty darn close. Oh, they got. He's got heavy, medium, and lights. Firing. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Look at those parts. Bye. -bye. I'm All out right. Of SRMs. I hear ya. Get your ass back here. This is the 8K. Let's get right up their uh -huh. nose. Like, we're in trouble here because the Cougar goes on 16, and these guys are, like, right at his back. <sighs> I mean, do we try and push back? I think we have to. I think we gotta OP the Hunchback at least two. I think we go with everything. See what we can get on this guy. Well, these I think are a waste at this point. Let's fire all the smalls. Get the arcs on. Uh, he didn't lose any initiative, damn it. Um Yes, Commander. We gotta kill him then. 
We don't have much left. Target lock on enemy rear. Shit, we shot our own guy too. Okay, who's next? Let's get him, man. If we get damage spilled under our own guys, I, I, I still got to go after this guy. Oh, he's got thumper artillery, really. He's still going to use it, though. Okay. All right, let's see what he does to the cougar. Man, that cougar is always, it's got some nasty luck. Oh, maybe, oh yeah, I think he's still going to go for the cougar. No! Oh, that's an interesting choice. That's really interesting. I hear you. Over here. Moving to position. Yeah, let's go, Sam. It's a little hot. Let's leave the ER medium off. MRM 10s, anti air arrow, light AC 10, bomb rack infernos. Let's hope he doesn't use those, but he's got AMSs, so let's see what happens. Affirmative. That's a bunch of tandems that went through. All out of SRMs, Commander. Orders. Just the Mars. Just over here. Oh wait, we can get a green line on this guy, right? Because you got a turret. Do we use that or don't? Or I think so. Well, this guy's got AMS flares, which I think are probably both fired this turn. So I should be able to fire at him and not lose anything? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Waiting for orders. Hmm. Let's stay shooting at the front of this guy. This guy really is the threat, though. The trebuchet we can take down, no problem. Alright, not bad. Orders. Over here. All right, good luck. Roger. All right, pretty good damage. Damage minimal. All right, let's see what our chances are here. Ready for orders. Mm, not bad. When does the Nidhogg go? 22. So Blade will go. Gatekeeper will go. 25, 24. Wow, we got like four guys. That go before the Nidhogg. Do we try and stay in front of it? I think so. I think we try and stay in front of it. We splash damage to both. I mean, it's really going to be a gamble as to what side we hit. Engaging. Nice PPC hit. Okay, he shot through all his uh, AMS now. Yes, Commander. I think we need to. Uh, Hmm. 
Okay, Move. let's tie up this treb. We're close to getting that Nidhog. Long fire, a pair of 10, MRM 10s. Solid connection on that one. Okay. I can't take much more of this. Just. You got no choice. Okay, let's get into here. Going after this guy. Hammer him with everything. I copy. Okay, that Trev was the one that hammered you. Back up a bit. We're still okay armor-wise. Let's see if we can pull this guy down. Uh, let's get better clustering rolls. Alright, firing. There we go. Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. Now. Commander. Moving out. I don't really hate backstabbing people. Well, no, I don't hate backstabbing people, but this guy's. If you're gonna land on top of us, you're gonna get backstabbed. Your armor it is. And it's just the way it's gotta be. Waiting for orders. Alright, Igor. We're all just like standing right behind this guy. That's more than enough. Affirmative. See ya. Gonna land it there, eh? All right, let's go after these turrets and get out of here. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, can we direct fire? We can direct fire. Fire. Well, we should have been able to direct fire them from up here. It's kind of weird. We can't. All right, let's just move up with some of these go guys. Turbo. We'll drop the lerms while we're moving up this turn. Let's go after this turret since we've already shot for it. A little better with the standard. We'll fire those. Like, we used to be able to hit- oh, you probably can't see the turret, that's probably why. Roger. Why we're not getting a line. Yes, Commander. Flames on the way. Let's not go through the flames. Alright, um, uh, standard probably. 35, oh no, extended range is a little better. Doesn't do anywhere near as much damage, Ready but that's alright. I copy. Let's get this done. On all right, now. Ready to get it on. We were able to direct fire. Like that turret was able to direct fire us at one point in time, but. I don't know why I can't now. Or we can't see it now. The LRM turret, that is. Locking on target. I'm ready. Yeah, Alright, let's move it up. Drop that heat. Got something you want done? Yeah, move it up. Acknowledged. Okay, who else do we got here? Aye, aye. Polecat. Um, okay, so we can see that turret from there. But Going to full throttle. Just out of range with the large lasers. Commander? Affirmative. Get them some heat, but we okay. Who's next? Okay, you can see them both from there. What? I thought, I thought, I was like right here when the other, oh that, right there. Alright. Alright, that's fine. Just 
Just gonna go indirect, there's no point in uh, doing anything else. And firing. Good damage. What can I do for you? You can clean this shit up, that's what you can do. Alright, drop it all on him. And we got Sam as the other ammo, so we'll just go standard. Roger that. Firing on target. Okay, that one's gone. One more and we're out of here. Well, wow. one more and the base is ours, that is. Yes, Commander. Just ignore that dropship. It does not exist. The dropship is a figment of your imagination. Okay, good start. Commander. Oh, we have to be very wary because that is... Uh, I'll go here. Good to go. It's a hardened turret, or a heavy turret, so, yeah. That is fire those. I thought it was going to have around 480 hit points, but not anywhere near that. Alright, Rose, get up here. Base is ours. Oh. Alright, well, we didn't get the turret. That's fine. So I guess the Reapers that were manning that turret slipped, slipped away into the night. That's my story, and we're, st we're sticking to it. Now, um... How are we doing here? I think we're okay for stuff. I don't think we l took any significant damage in any way. It doesn't look like anything blew through the armor. Could have been really bad for us. All right, now, uh, heavy heavy rifle carry, 80 tons. Ooh. Okay, we're taking this because that gives us the vulture. Um, we'll see what we get. If we get these parts, great. If we don't, we don't. That's like no armor, though. It's like, and it's so slow, it won't even get to the front line. Nidhogg gunship. See, that's the kind of thing we want, right? Nice heavy armor, it's a flyer. I mean, it moves A12, so it's it's relatively fast. So we've got an arrow one shot. That's in, It's one ton. It's one ton. That's interesting as hell. But, okay, what's the light AC-10 do? It's got a very short range and it only does 50 for eight tons. Not bad though, I guess. It's a discount AC-20 or whatever. MRM-10s, periphery rifles, rocket pack 20s. These are seven and a half tons each, wow. Uh, what else? XL engine. I should take this for the C-bills. Oh, gunnery support B, we're taking that. Pirate fire control systems. We've got one already, prototype double heat sinks. Got four. I don't have a kit for that though. That's what we need. Caseless ammo or uh, AMS ammo. Yeah, uh, improved MRMs. Now the Apollo is the plus three cluster. Okay. Plus three chance to cluster with this. So, I don't know. I thought MRMs didn't cluster. Maybe just the regular MRMs do, but don't, but the Apollos do? That would make sense to me. Like, the Improved wouldn't. Right? Improved wouldn't cluster, but these guys would. Oh, they got tandem, too. They got tandem ammo for the MRMs. We could turn that one, uh... The Kit Fox into a, um, yeah, to a vehicle killer with this. Hmm. We're getting a vulture out of this, so that's good. Maybe I should grab another prototype double heat sink. I think so. 
Because we want to go with a heavy energy build, I think, on that vulture. So let's grab that. And then we'll just roll and see what we get here. Let's confirm that. All right, heavy carrier, heavy carrier piece, trebuchet piece, which is probably just going to get sold. AMS Mark II, beautiful. ATM 9 Pirate. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be using the Pirate ATMs in this playthrough, so this one can just go. Heavy rifle can go. We'll keep the MRM 10. His backup armor can go. Small cockpit can go. Those are the two things that we took. Wow, primitive sensors. HVAC ammo. Not a hyper. I'm not gonna take a hyper velocity out of cannon too, so I can take get rid of that. Oh, we got MRM improved. That's nice. That's nice backup ammo. Okay, so not bad, not bad. All right, let's. I mean, I probably shouldn't bring the vulture forward, but we got to see what it's got on it. Uh, MacBay. We got to check it out. So let's have a look really quickly here. Storage. So we still got the Talos that's just sitting there. Uh, oh, I got to get rid of these guys. This was from a uh, side mission I did between them just to make some sea bills so I can just trash this now. I meant, meant to scrap those. Um, and yeah, we got a Miss Lynx Mongoose. Got a Kit Fox ready to be put together if we want to do that. I mean, it's only 30, right? We got a Polymos as a backup vehicle. Talos, and there's this guy here. Let's bring it forward and see what it's got. It's ready yet. Yeah, man. Let's have a look at this sucker. All right, fingers crossed. Doesn't look like it's got much, but we'll see. Well, it's got the one arm still intact, looks like. All right. Oh, he's got the Radical Prototype Double Heat Sink Kit, though. Oh, it does have the HVAC 2 in the center torso. We sold the ammo. It's six tons, though. Like, that just doesn't make sense. Like, that's... A lot. But double arm, it does double crit chance, so. 4% chance of misfiring. Turret mount in the CT, we love that. NSS, I think is already built in. Is it not? Oh, it might not be. It's not. Alright, well. What's it going to take to repair this thing? 438,000 in 18 days. I think we do that. We're going to pull this off it for now. We're going to pull this off it for now. Um, we take the sheath beacon off. It comes with a built-in small cockpit, eh? Really? Um, let's have a quick look here. Do we have any... Co we just got a regular clan cockpit. Let's just drop that in for now. So we have a rough idea, weight-wise, what we're do, what we're dealing with here. So it's only got a 300 core, which means it's like a 4-6 movement, right? Yeah, 4-6 movement. So I mean, yeah, built-in endo, built-in clan armor. Well, it's ultra light jar, which is kind of shitty because it easier chance to get knocked down. But if we use this, I think this thing is supposed to be used as a long-range fire, long-range fire support. So I think if that's how we use it then it, it should be great. Contraband, fire control system. So it's basically like a pirate FCS, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it looks, like, it looks like a pirate fire control system, pretty much. That's fine. Yeah, so we're going to leave that here, I think. Let's get it going. Validate it. Confirm it. Confirm. Beautiful. Now, we can't use it in this part of the playthrough for sure, but we can get something up and running in there. We got to, I got to get some more uh, battles against clans to get some gear, I think. So, 18 days for the uh, upgrade to the Argo. I'm, I'm trying to work on getting eight mechs for these guys and then lower like lower the number of vehicles we drop with, the, with these particular guys and up the number of mechs. So, that's the kind of goal, but I need to get this, the structural reinforcement done, then mech bay three, and then I can take the last mech slot. So it's going to be a little bit of dollars, but I'm working towards that. All right, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.